क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी सिक्स An object performs simple harmonic motion when the displacement of the object is x naught by two. The kinetic energy of the object is e. So when you say about a simple harmonic motion, first thing what I do is I put a pendulum. Okay, whether required or not, I put a pendulum here. So this is the main position. This is as you are full is x naught. So this half of it is x naught by two. X naught by two somewhere over here. Okay. Now what does it say? When displacement is x naught by two, energy is e. So we know the total energy. E dash total energy E dash is equal to kinetic energy plus potential energy. What is potential energy? Kinetic energy is ah uh, kinetic energy. I'll just write this kinetic energy itself. Plus potential energy is nothing but half k into the x naught square divided by four. I'll write like this over here. Okay. So now what do we have here? The kinetic energy. Now now we know that the total energy E dash is given by Is given by half k x naught square. How do I know this? Because you know, when when the particle comes over here, all its kinetic energy is lost, and it has only potential energy over it, right? So kinetic energy becomes zero over here. Okay, so therefore it only has potential energy, which is half k x naught square. So I can now write this as half k x naught square is equal to kinetic energy plus half k into x naught square into one by four. Now what is uh, this actually here? So the kinetic energy is equal to half k x naught square into one minus one by four because I pushed this one to this side, right? So which should now be equal to half k x naught square into three by four, three by four. Now what is this now? This is your kinetic energy, and what does it say? Kinetic energy is e. The value of it is equal to e over here. So what do I need? I need the total energy. So total energy is this one, which is e dash, right? So I can now write e dash into three by four is equal to e r. What do I need? I need the value of e dash. E dash is equal to four e divided by three. So the answer is four e by three b. 